Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning or good night and welcome, it's Nurse Richard the Wax Wizard. Uh, thanks for joining me. Um, really nice looking procedures uh, today. Um, there's three, three years in this, uh, two patients, uh, husband and wife. Um, the first one is the wife and the set, uh, they've got two ears from the wife and one ear from the husband afterwards. Who believe it or not, had his ears done four weeks before seeing me. <laughs> You'll be quite, you can probably see what's coming here already, can't you? <laughs> yeah. Yes, you're right. Yeah, it wasn't done properly at all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, what this lady has here, um, a lot of skin in right. here, uh, a lot of skin. Obviously, she had a really difficult ear to get into. Um, it's very, very bendy, very twisty, very narrow. Um, and you can't appreciate that from the video here. Uh, this is the fine end tube, which I do use for a lot of these uh, more delicate procedures when the ear is so small, because it's literally something as simple as when it's um, uh, quite narrow to get into, you literally can't fit the endoscope and the tube in there at the same time. It's very difficult. But, but we're already making reasonable headway there. Now it wasn't a huge amount in there, but it was enough to block up a very small ear. Uh, which is certainly what she had, but it was it was quite loose, thankfully, this skin. She'd uh, oiled it quite well, thankfully. Uh, the last one wasn't oiled at all. He, 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 like I said, he'd had his done uh, a, a few weeks ago and uh, he, he had no intention of getting his ears done with me today, but when somebody else comes um, with the patient, I always ask them, for no extra charge, I jump, jump, have a quick look at yours uh, while you're here. And you'd be surprised what we find in people's ears that are not expecting to find a problem. Sometimes some potentially serious things as well. It so it's That's always terrible. good to ask if you've got time yeah. anyway, but I always try and make time. Um, the second one, it wasn't quite as deep this. And I thought, when I looked at it first, I thought I'd be here all day with the fine end tube in this. So I decided to get the full size tube in there. And you can just see, can't you? It fills up pretty much the entire ear canal. Um, so yeah, the, the visibility is slightly affected by that. But it, like I said, it would have taken forever. So that you're probably wondering already, what's with the title of this episode? A bog off earwax, what's bog off mean? It means uh, a couple of things in the UK here. Tell me if it means the same all over the world. I'm not entirely sure. Um, one meaning of bog off can be go away. <laughs> go away, do one on your bike, son. See you later, bog off. <laughs> but, um, when you're talking about uh, selling stuff, essentially I'm selling this procedure, you know, don't do it for free. <laughs> um, it stands for buy one, get one free. Oh and so which that one was, because he wasn't expecting uh, to have his done. Uh, this gentleman here, <laughs> which is his husband, done four weeks ago. <laughs> so he wasn't expecting it, and I didn't think it was fair to charge him, bearing in mind that he'd already had it done uh, a few weeks ago. I think this was in public health as well. I mean, to be, to be fair, they don't have the same type of equipment that, that we do. They certainly don't get allocated the same amount of time as well. Um, so I'd like to say there's some benefit of the doubt here, but there's just too much here. <laughs> now, it's a hearing aid user as well. So um, it, it's going to vastly affect the ability of the hearing aid to work properly when you've still got these around the edges. Yes, there is a path through to the eardrum. So I suspect that's what they've done. They've just cleared out the centre of the blockage and thought, yeah, you can probably hear again now, which which he could. But he said he could feel that he wasn't still quite right. Um, and he, he, he wasn't wrong. <laughs> Far from wrong, in fact. So yeah, bog off, buy one, get one free. So buy the first procedure, second one, I did charge him. I didn't think it was right. Um, some, I don't always charge people full price. Somebody did ask me this in the comments the other day. Um, if it's like... Um, not much of a removal or there's only a little bit there just a quick tidy up sometimes i'll just charge them the assessment price only which really isn't much um it's just a, a, a quick tidy up if, it, if i feel like it's not changed anything significantly for them then i think it's only fair to reflect that in the price you know not all about the money so you get yourself a good reputation as well helps you know that you, you don't diddle people when you don't need to. I'm not going to charge people full price for a few flakes, you know, that's just, just not morally or ethically right. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, it, it was um, a, a bit trickier than the uh, than his wife's to remove this, obviously because it's a fair bit drier. I suspect they would have looked quite similar uh, if he'd have oiled it as well. Um, but it's fairly, so I didn't get every little speck in this, but I didn't no, think it was really important to, to be honest with you. And uh, we were a little push for time while I managed to squeeze this in at the end of yeah, her appointment. That bit. <laughs> um, I must say a big thank you yeah, to you all. This is on. the first video I've recorded uh, since I published the one uh, about my daughter and her gym squad and being invited to the um, uh, an international competition and I shared some images and videos of my daughter doing her gymnastics with her squad. Um, and I, I've, got, I, I've got to say, I'm absolutely overwhelmed by everyone's response from it. You are very kind. Um, yes, you're right, she's extremely talented. And if you, if you don't know, in that video we set up a way, uh, the gym that she goes to, they set up a GoFundMe page because they, they just wanted to buy the girls something nice whilst it's the very first international competition. Um, gym gear, leotards, if anyone's got any gym uh, kids, you'll know just how expensive it is. <laughs> and obviously the families have had to fork out to, to get them to this competition uh, in Malta. Uh, so we thought we'll try and do some fundraising to get them the, 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 the gear uh, to travel in, be it training gear or leotards, competition suits and what have you. Uh, but absolutely blown away by everyone who's donated. I do appreciate that massively. It is perfectly safe as well. It's a registered charity, this, this, the, the, the gym that she attends. So every single penny goes into those girls um, and their competitions. So I do appreciate it uh, massively. And there is, um, um, oh, I totally forgot what I was going to say then. <laughs> I will put a link to the, to the, to the episode uh, where you can see my daughter doing a gym um, at the end of this one. It's called Little Miss Baxwood or something like that. And speaking of family as well, I, mean, I, don't, I know my wife did get involved in the comments on that because, again, she was blown away as well because it's her that's organised it. And um, she said, well, I'll, I'll, I'll put a few comments just saying thank you to people who've donated and what have you. And uh, she said, but I, I, I will they know who I am or what have you. If they won't have the clue, they'll just see this name, which is Michelle, by the way. And uh, well, I said, why, why not call yourself Mrs. Wax Wizard on YouTube? Uh, so that's what she's called herself. <laughs> she did promise, because everyone was so kind um, in donating to the GoFundMe, that she will do an episode soon. I don't know when that's going to be, whether she'll go back on a word, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, she said to me, oh, they'll all hate me. <laughs> I said, they really won't. I said, they really won't. I said, I don't. I quite like you. So I'd see no reason why everybody else would. She's quite different than me though. <laughs> we're not quite we're not quite peas in the pod. I didn't say opposites attract. <laughs> she said, oh they'll hate me. Oh, they really won't. But yeah, we'll we'll try and do that soon. It might I might well save it for a, a special number, you know, like one in the hundreds. Um which I've got too many ideas for already for episode three hundred and I think we're about forty away from that anyway. Um as you can see, we're getting involved in a bit of peeling here. To be honest, I think at this point, we've probably got rid of more than what we needed to. Uh, there's no point getting involved in the peel all the way down to the eardrum there. Uh, I think that would be unnecessary and, uh, and, uh, and, and a bit risky. Um, but as you can see, it looks a lot different than what it did when it first came, despite him having it done four weeks ago. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, like I said, the link to the, uh, the, the video uh, about my daughter will be in the uh, description, or there'll be a pop-up box somewhere. Anyway, but for now, take care of yourself and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.